Welcome to the ambient household of this guy. <laughs> so, it's been a little bit, and um, I have something like super important. Let's see, I don't even know how long it's been since I last made a video, but it's been good. I've had a lot of uh, growth throughout it, um, mentally, and it's been really good because I feel Right now, I've just been seeing signs like everywhere of little things bubbling just all over my life. Things are bubbling and it's like good, like really good. Like it's it's getting ready and everything seems like it's gonna be done all at the same time or in quick succession, one after the other. And I'm excited because that not only goes for my external, but that always goes for my internal. Mentally, I can see something bubbling, but uh, before I get to that, I want to give a background of that. So, this is about remembering who you are. Throughout all the craziness that's happened to me, <laughs> I've um, been having this perception that I need to find something new, this new mindset, this new way to carry myself, this new way of thinking that is confident, does what I want to do, so on and so forth, isn't mentally weak, etc, etc, etc. And in my mind, it's always been something new that I have to look for. And um, I didn't realize until a few days ago is that I've already had this mindset that I want. I've had it, I held it for months actually, a long time, and it was during college. And uh, so to show the story of how I figured that out, I, um, I re reconnected with some friends from college. Uh, the ones that gave me a home when I ran away during my big old month of hiatus. <laughs> And uh, they were like, yo, we're going to go meet up with some friends from college. And I was like, yeah, sure. And uh, we go over to one of their apartments, and it's a, it's a little party. And I see them all, all my friends that I hung out with college, pretty much. And they were so fat. <laughs> That's so mean. No, they were just different. It was like, I have this thing in my mind that if you're... If you're not connecting with someone, like say you're not connecting with an old friend, it's because you're literally not meant to. You guys are on two different wavelengths. And when you see each other, that'll come into, it'll be so obvious that you guys are on different wavelengths and that's why you guys haven't been communicating or in contact. So I've lately been missing my old college friends because I had felt lonely in those times. And um, I knew in the back of my head, it probably wasn't the best decision to hang with them, but I just wanted to, be with someone for a little bit. I wanted friends. I wanted friends. <laughs> and uh, seeing them was the biggest, most obvious sign of why I wasn't hanging with them, why I wasn't supposed to be around them. And I just had so many thoughts and flashbacks to college, to the days where I was doing what I wanted to do, whether it be I was working on that uh, small startup with the other guys, I was going to um, business clubs, I was going to meetings, I was doing everything I wanted to do, and I would leave my friends and I'd just see them party. And it was just like a flashback. It was like a quick download of remembering everything. Back then I was so calm and confident, I honestly forgot what it felt like um, to oopsie, brain fart. I honestly forgot what it felt like to be sad. It, it's true, and like that sounds crazy, but I don't, I didn't remember the last time I had been upset. Um, it was serene, I don't know how to describe it. I created opportunities everywhere I went. It was amazing. That's, I don't wanna go too depth into it, but it was amazing. And it was the mindset that I'm exactly trying to chase right now. And uh, quickly, I realized that, hold up, I don't need to look for something new, I just need to remember. That's it. And when you've done something forever, you know, you're gonna be a little bit rusty when you pick up on it, but when you really get back into it, it's gonna take, it's gonna take no time to dust the, brush the dust off. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Is uh, in the next, it's been three days since then, and you know, my mindset's been kind of whack up and down mentally, but 
when I got it, it was like, I forgot that I could feel that good again. It was nice. I f genuinely forgot that I could feel that good though. And, um, I, man, <laughs> it was great. I, I felt more energized. I felt more ready to go. I felt more ready to just do things like, let's, let's go do this, but not like mess around. And, uh, it was like an instant change externally. I don't even know how to describe it. It just felt good. And then when I went back to my old mindset, it was so much more obvious the contrast between them. And just getting back, getting back to it. And I actually wrote about it a little bit. And I wanna, I wanna, write, I wanna share some things. I wanna blah, 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 blah. So I personally believe that everyone is like this. Everyone is confident, everyone is pure, everyone gets what they want to do done. Everyone has a moment uh, during the day where they feel super motivated, where they feel super calm, etc, etc. Those are traits that I believe you naturally are. Because when you're not getting in your own way, whether it be mentally with thoughts that come up, that you just focus on, you're calm. Right? And that's what I had forgotten, is that this is my natural way of being. Because during this time when I became more spiritually aware of myself and all the craziness that was going on, um, I realized that it had a lot to do with how I was acting. And I made a process that was originally natural, forceful, and I tore it apart. And so this is a natural part. This is a natural way to live. So that's what I'm trying to go back is into this natural state of calm, natural state of being. Just who I was before. It's very natural, very pure. And a good way to remember this is when you're there, take notes of it. What are you? Like if you if you're sitting down and you're having these mental thoughts that aren't probably the best, maybe you're worried about tomorrow or you're worried about something that's going on, just kind of think to yourself, when I was in that natural calm state, I wasn't thinking about this and I wouldn't be doing that now. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of take notes, remember more what it's like to be there until it's the only thing you know, right? And third is other people. Other people, other things are there to sway you. Not sway you, they can sway you uh, when you're in this state. If you have a knee jerk reaction, so to say. Um, the more you practice this though, just being natural, just being calm, just realizing that everything's okay, because everything is okay, it's granted you don't get in the way, you'll realize that you don't need to care about other people or the external situations because it's whatever. It really is whatever. I've been in horrible situations, but I kept my cool and just relaxed and everything worked out for me. I remember before I had my job, I was, I think I had like $300 maybe in my bank account, probably less, probably like 250 and I had already signed a lease for 569 a month. Um, the deposit that I had to pay was already $200, so I would have been left with $50. I still didn't have a job and I had no idea I was going to pay rent and within a span of like a month, I got a call from my mom and she offered two months of free rent if I stayed home and took care of the house. And I got a job probably like two weeks after that. So I didn't get in the way. I didn't force a bunch of things. I didn't start freaking out. I just kind of kept my cool. Granted, this was during the process of when I started to force things and things slowly started to fall apart, but that's good because now I'm remembering. It's the process of remembering. And I personally believe everyone is like this. I do. I really do. Maybe everyone's uh, their own unique version of it. <laughs> but I'm excited because now I really feel like I have the key. And I have this awesome feeling that by my birthday, everything's just going to... Everything's going to go great. And I'm super excited. So yeah. Remember who you are. Don't, uh, don't accept the fact... <laughs> don't accept in your head that you're a nervous person. Don't accept in your head that you're not confident. Don't accept any of those things because you're really not. If at any point in your day you're calm, then that completely trumps that idea in your head that you're anxious. If you're in any part of your day confident, that completely trumps the part in your 
head that makes you think you're unconfident. It just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, choose to believe the better thing. It's kind of hard, but just keep thinking the thought. It'll eventually stick. I promise. Yeah. Peace. Love y'all. Beautiful person. Thanks for watching. Look at my other videos for educational stories, weird stories, or just cool experiences. Right, peace.